Amsterdam, the capital and largest city of the Netherlands, is known for its historic charm, artistic heritage, and liberal culture. Located in the province of North Holland, in the west of the country, the city is famous for its well-preserved 17th century canal belt, which has been recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. These canals, lined with narrow, gabled houses, form the heart of the city and offer a picturesque image that is characteristic of Amsterdam. Amsterdam has a rich history dating back to the 13th century, when it started as a modest fishing village. The city grew into an important trading center during the Dutch Golden Age in the 17th century, partly thanks to the innovative construction of the canal belt that made the expansion of the city possible. Today, Amsterdam is a vibrant metropolis with a diverse population and a strong focus on art, culture, and entrepreneurship. Amsterdam is also known for its vibrant cycling culture, with extensive cycle paths and bike rental services that make it easy to explore the city on two wheels. In addition, the city has a vibrant nightlife, with numerous bars, clubs, and live music venues, as well as a rich culinary scene that offers both traditional Dutch dishes and international cuisines. With its unique combination of historic architecture, cultural wealth, and open, tolerant society, Amsterdam remains one of the most fascinating and livable cities in the world. And now 10 sites you can visit when you are in Amsterdam. The Anne Frank House, located on the Prinsengracht in Amsterdam, is a museum in memory of Anne Frank, a Jewish girl who documented her daily life in the annex of the building in her diary during the Second World War. The house is where Anne, her family, and several others hid from the Nazis from July 1942 to August 1944, when they were betrayed and deported to concentration camps. Opened in 1960, the museum aims to tell the story of Anne Frank and the other people in hiding, as well as the history of the Holocaust. Visitors can walk through the narrow, hidden rooms of the secret annex, where Anne wrote her famous diary, now one of the most read books in the world. The Frank family's original diary and other personal items are on display, providing a powerful and moving insight into the horrors of war and its impact on individuals and families. Located in the heart of Amsterdam's historic De Wallen district, the Oud Kirk is the city's oldest building and parish church, dating from circa 1306. Originally dedicated to St. Nicholas, the patron saint of sailors, the church reflects the wealthy maritime history of Amsterdam. Over the centuries, the Oude Kirk has undergone numerous extensions and renovations, resulting in a fascinating mix of architectural styles, including Gothic and Renaissance. The Red Light District, known in Dutch as De Wallen, is one of the oldest and most famous neighborhoods in Amsterdam. The area is known for its network of alleys with red-lit windows where sex workers offer their services. In addition to window prostitution, the district also includes a series of sex shops, peep shows, bars and museums, including the Prostitution Museum and the Erotic Museum, which provide insight into the world of sex work and eroticism. Dam Square is one of the most iconic and historic squares in the heart of Amsterdam. The square has played a central role in Dutch history since the 13th century, when it was built as a dam on the Amstel River, from which Amsterdam takes its name. Over the centuries, Dam Square has become the center of urban life, a place for public gatherings, celebrations, and important historical events. And we stay on the square because we are going to the Royal Palace Amsterdam, located on Dam Square in the heart of the city, is one of the three palaces made available to the king by the Dutch state. Originally built as Amsterdam's town hall in the 17th century, during the golden age of the Netherlands, it was designed by the architect Jacob van Kampen and is a masterpiece of classical architecture. The palace was transformed into a royal palace in 1808 by Louis Napoleon, brother of Napoleon Bonaparte and then King of Holland. The Heineken Experience, located in the former Heineken Brewery in the center of Amsterdam, 
is a popular tourist attraction that immerses visitors in the world of Heineken, one of the most famous international beer brands. The building, which dates back to 1867, served as the first Heineken brewery where the beer was produced for more than a century until it closed in 1988 due to its inability to keep up with growing demand. The Heineken Experience offers an interactive tour through the history of the company, the brewing process, and the evolution of the brand over the years. Visitors will have the opportunity to see, feel, and smell the ingredients of beer and learn about the brewing process from start to finish. The Vondelpark is the best known and most visited park in Amsterdam and a popular meeting place for both locals and tourists. Located to the southwest of the city center, this green haven extends over approximately 47 hectares and offers an oasis of tranquility amid the urban hustle and bustle. The park opened in 1865 and was originally named after the Dutch poet Joost van den Vondel, whose statue can still be found in the park. An Amsterdam Canal cruise offers a unique and unforgettable way to discover the beauty and history of the city from the water. A cruise along these waterways takes you past historic buildings, under scenic bridges, and offers stunning views of the city that you can't experience from the street. During a cruise, you will get a view of some of Amsterdam's most iconic sites, such as the ornate facades of the canal houses, the lively houseboats, and famous attractions such as the Anne Frank House, the Oude Kerk, and the Rijksmuseum. Many cruises offer audio guides or live commentary, available in several languages, providing insight into the city's rich history and culture. The Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam is dedicated to the life and work of Vincent Van Gogh, one of the most famous and influential figures in the history of Western art. Located on Museumplein, next to the Rijksmuseum and the Stedelijk Museum, the museum houses the largest collection of paintings, drawings, and letters by Van Gogh in the world, making it an unmissable destination for lovers of art, and specifically Van Gogh's work. Founded in 1973, the museum offers a comprehensive journey through the artist's life, from his early works showing the influence of Dutch realism, to his later works in France, where he developed into a forerunner of expressionism with his vibrant colors and emotional depth. As you have seen, Amsterdam is a special city that you should definitely see at least once. The city offers a lot of history and there is a lot of fun to do. Don't forget to subscribe so that next time you travel with us to a nice country and city. And if you have any nice suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time.